welcome back my lovely darlings to my channel and today it's another uh, video about fantastic uh, lady um, she is actually she belongs to Belgium royalty and we're going to talk about Queen Mathilde um, I spoke already about a princess Elizabeth and she's basically a daughter of Queen Mathilde but obviously um, even in one family you can find lots of beautiful women who are really have beautiful style and obviously Princess uh, Elizabeth uh, is very young you know so this is a little bit different category but I think her mom is really really fantastic she has fantastic style and Queen uh, Mathilde she um, really has this kind of class and very very chic woman so I think um, would be great to talk about her as well and that's what we're going to focus in today's video we're going to I'm going to show you her style um, how she's dressing and oh, I hope you're going to enjoy that King Philip and Queen Mathilde married in uh, 1999 they have four children Princess Elizabeth Prince uh, Gabriel Prince Emmanuel and Princess Eleanor Queen Mathilde she attended schools in Bastogon uh, and Brussels. She studied speech therapy. All of this is related to the pronunciations of words and work in this field before she became a princess. Queen Mathilde has also studied theology. She was very interested in issues re related to education and teaching. She's involved in many organizations um, regarding that. When they got married, Prince Philip and Prince Mathilde, um, they do not wish any, uh, received any gifts. They asked people to, who wanted to give them a gift, donate money um, to charities, help the most vulnerable. For those of you who are looking forward to meet someone uh, and thinking where can you actually meet someone um, who is obviously a little bit like to maybe a little bit more affluent than um, if you don't know she actually met her husband during the tennis game um, so if any one of you are looking to um, you know I think tennis is great as well if you want to meet new people overall but um, yeah if you if you like her want to uh, meet maybe someone from royalty or someone who is a little bit more affluent than Tennis might be a great opportunity. She's concerned with a range of social issues, including education, child poverty, and overall woman position in the society. She has been an honorary president of UNICEF. Obviously, she is involved, you know, like any royalties I spoke to you about, she is involved in many charity or in many uh, organizations who support, obviously, people in many different fields. People from kids, from education, from women uh, rights, from basically every uh, any angle there is to support people. Besides Dutch and French, she also speaks English, Italian and ha has a basic knowledge of Spanish. She has a uh, broad interest in uh, culture, art and dance. She loves modern classic music, plays the piano and she's a very keen reader. When she has free time, she enjoys hiking, biking, play tennis, swimming, nature and overall outdoors. When I started um, doing research about her, about her style, I actually noticed that she really loves to wear red and you can find a lot of, lot of outfits um, when she's wearing this color and perhaps this is, might be her, might be her favorite color. Not everybody really enjoy red because it's a strong color, but I think it really suits her and um, it's always, you can find so many different shades of red and one particular shade might work for you. Maybe you're not going to go for this tomato red, but maybe a burgundy is going to be really lovely for you. But overall, when you look at her style, it's very rich, it's very expensive, it's very classic. And, um, you know, that's what she is, this, this kind of type of lady. And um, wearing red, obviously, I think I think this is one of her favorite colors because you can honestly see her everywhere wearing red. And it really suits her, you know, give her this kind of uh, Carmen San Diego look a little bit, but she is uh, fantastic. She Red really works uh, fantastic for her. Mm, she's a lovely lady, very... Um, Elegant, as I said, she doesn't have this kind of uh, maybe flamboyant style or anything like this. When it comes to length of her dresses or a length of her skirts, you're not going to find anything short. That some queen sometimes you might find that. Obviously, she's very respectful, very classic, and that's going to 
uh, dominate in her wardrobe. She also enjoyed to um, you wear a lot of strong colors. You can find her wearing strong yellow, you can find her wearing a lot of green. Overall the colors, she's not scared of colors, which is really lovely to see. But those colors, those dresses, uh, skirts, trousers, going to always have this kind of, be very, very chic and they're going to have this kind of expensive looking, um, expensive feeling to it. Apart from colors, you can also find her wearing black and white. This is one dress over here that I think she looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, black top and the bottom is um, it's kind of um, tulle, white tulle. It's just really, really nice contrast. An outfit that I particular particular like and I think everybody could wear that is this outfit here. It has this kind of beautiful coat um, that has those little dark red tones to it. She wear a sh She's wearing a shoes, a gloves, and scarf in the same color. Obviously, she's wearing mask here, but um, I don't know how it's in your part of the world, but in the UK, we don't wear mask anymore. Um, but I think this outfit is really, really lovely for autumn, and really any person could wear something like this. Some of her outfits are going to be obviously very rich, and they're not going to be maybe suitable for everyone like every day, but this particular one, I think it could really work for many people. To show you actually that she can be sometimes a little bit more uh, flamboyant is this outfit here with the um, coat that has this kind of animal pattern of leopard and she obviously has this kind of um, lovely hat, grey uh, gloves, even the dress and the tights are in the same color and obviously the uh, back. Many times you're going to see her having shoes and back in the same color. Like many elegant ladies you can see that she is very often pairing her back to her shoes so if it's a blue shoes, then she's going to have a blue bag. If it's a red bag, then it's going to be red shoes and so, or so on. Um, and I think this is a really good idea. Like I per personally love that, uh, love doing that as well. I think it's very classic and you can't really go wrong with that if you go for same color bag and same color shoes. I think as a couple, they are really, really lovely. So many pictures of them and um, I think they look uh, really happy together. And they both of them, they are very classic, you know, he's very like a handsome man as well. Obviously, um, he's a little bit older as, uh, already now. Um, but I think they really works works well as a couple as well together. They're representing the country, we're having four children. It's really, really nice. I personally would love to have four children, but I think uh, on, we're going to stop on three. Um, but obviously, whenever they're going, even attending events, you know, you can see holding them together. It just really gives you this kind of nice feel that they care, taking care of each other, uh, which um, as a queen and king, you obviously want to see that. Um, even if it's not your king and queen, you still want to see that in uh, royalties. You know, they give this kind of example for their own not going to go crazy about details here. I think she's a very classic woman and oh. any outfit she represents can't really go wrong with that. Um, she has this kind of sophistication. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I'm going to do more videos in the future about realities as well. I have a list already of videos waiting for me from the comments as well. Lady ask, ladies ask me. Um, however, I need to tell you that uh, it is a little bit hard just now because my... <laughs> Uh, younger he is getting um, really demanding that's the one <laughs> he's getting really demanding and making a uh, content is really really hard recently so that's why you know I'm just doing uh, one video a week because it's really hard but I going to I'm going to upload those videos from holiday as well if you want to see I'm going to talk about the hotel we stayed and um, so that's all coming plus all those videos from the comment ladies because I have few videos really waiting for me to uh, record them it's just as I'm saying it's a little bit hard uh, recently but hey that's what it is you know we need to all go through something like this <laughs> but we might have kids anyway have a lovely day and see you in the next video